Are you looking for a way to add a star rating to your app? Well, then this is a tutorial for you because in this tutorial, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over this very popular uh, bootstrap five-star rating star plugin that you can find in the no-code tool bubble as a plugin. So what this plugin does is it allows you to, so let's say um, we want to add to this product here a star rating. And so we can submit that. And then we can see how that updated here um, on the rating for this product. So what you're gonna see in this video is we're gonna go through all the steps to set it up because basically what we have here is we have an input, we have a submit button that processes some workflows as it relates to the uh, data, the, the, the value for the rating, and then it you know adds it up, it makes an average, and then it takes it out and displays it over here and it does it for the various products that we have set up here. So let's take a look what we're gonna do in this video, the way it's gonna work, is I'm actually gonna tear down everything that you see here on the screen so that you can see it built from scratch so that you can follow along and get an understanding of how it would work in your world. So let's do that. As we dive over here into our bubble editor, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete the workflows and delete all of these elements. And well, we'll just leave, we'll leave this drop down as it is because you know, you're gonna have a UI that, that has some products. But basically also, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna reset, we're gonna delete these four data points and then we're going to add some new entries here. So we'll, as we get this set up, this is the first part of the video. And one thing to note that whenever you're doing this, you're gonna need uh, in your database, so here under app types, I have this demo products. So what we have here is an average rating, the number of ratings, total rating, product title. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna add zero to all of these. And that uh, is gonna help a lot with the math because we're gonna, basically the first time something is given a rating, it takes the initial value and then adds the, the value to it. And then the 10th time it's given a rating, it takes all 10 of those as a total and then adds it up and then makes it 11 and then divides by 11, right? To get a new average rating so that it stays up to date. So let's take a look at how we can do that over here. So basically all we're doing in this little dropdown is I'm just, we have, we have some, we have set, set to dynamic choices and demo products is our um, uh, data type for this. And those, again, that demo products, that uh, data type looks like this with these four fields. And so we're just doing a search for all of those and that's all that it is. We're, and we're saying that we just want the current options product title. So that's what we're going for. Okay, so then back over here on our canvas, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw in a group and we're going to say, actually, I'm gonna cheat a little bit to get us further along for the sake of the video. But basically we have a group here. Some of this stuff, so what we have here to just have this formatted nicely, it's just whatever this value is, we're just saying, we're displaying it so that we can see it. But again, this is UI. It doesn't have a ton to do with the actual star rating plugin. Here's what does. So when you install this plugin, it's called Bootstrap Star Rating. So just go ahead and look and search for that by typing Bootstrap. And there it is, it's this very popular one here. And then what you wanna do is over on the design area, under your input forms, you have a star rating. So we're gonna drop that in and you can kind of play around with some of the settings here. Maybe we'll go like that, that, that looks pretty cool. And we're just, we'll center that horizontally. And then we'll also draw on a button here to submit to so that we can run a workflow when this is ready, or when a person is ready to submit the, uh, the review value. Okay, so now with these in here, what we wanna do, what we wanna have happen is we want this, it can have some initial content perhaps. Um, we can make this type of content, demo products, data source. We can say that, 
let's go ahead and do a search for the demo products where the title is equal to drop down as values product title. Okay, so that should grab that one. We'll just take the first item here. So now that this group has some data, and then what we'll do here is we can just fill this in if we would like with some initial content. And we'll just add the average, average rating there. Okay, and then let's, what we'll do, we'll add a repeating group here. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drop this down to 80 so we can see the whole grid of our canvas. Knock this over, we'll add a group in here and go ahead and zero that out here. And then we'll draw it into the maximum amount that we can. And what we wanna do for this one, actually first and foremost for the repeating group, we're gonna to go to our demo products. So whatever it is, again, I'm just building some UI here so we can see how all this stuff works. But um, I'm, I'm offering to make sure that this uh, is available for how everything is working in this demo so you can get a full understanding of everything that's going on. So now with that set up, what we're gonna do, we could say select a product and for this dynamic expression, we're gonna say the current cells, or rather the parent groups. So we need to pass this, whenever you have a group inside of a repeating group, you wanna pass the value of the current cells thing. And in our case, we're working with demo products for our repeating group. So it takes that demo product, passes it here, and then now we can take a look at our parent group's title here. And then maybe we wanna copy and paste this and we'll say rating, or we'll say average rating actually. And then we'll say here, we'll grab the average rating. And what we'll do is we'll actually say that that's formatted as a number with the decimal place to one. So if it's like 4.5, et cetera, et cetera, you get the idea. Cool. And then the last thing we'll wanna do here is we'll just give this a little bit more space, drag this group over, and we will add another star rating here. And so what you'll want to do likely when you're setting this up, so we're going to go extra, extra small, and we're going to make this input disabled because what we want to have happen for this, let's see, that's pretty good size there. Okay, cool. And then we want to have this one. We want it to display the parent group's average rating. All right, so that's really just UI. Here's where the magic comes in. So on this submit button, basically how is someone, let's just, we can look at our progress and we can see how is someone going to interact with this page. Well, they're going to give up, they're going to give a rating here and then they're going to hit submit. And so what do we want to have happen when someone hits submit? We want something to happen to the data. So we're going to make changes to a thing. And the thing we're going to change in our case is this parent group's data product. We already the we already have a particular one, so let's see. So if we change this as iPhone 11. Ah yes, and of course we need a, a little bit more data in our database. And we wanna make sure that these all have zero here. And then Let's go ahead and add a few more of these products. And then we'll complete our tutorial. And last but not least, an iPhone 13 Pro. I've seen those ones, they look pretty nice. The camera on them is astounding. Someday, perhaps. Okay. Uh, so what do we got here? We've got our data set up now. So when, when we take a look at this, so we can see that this updates. And we can see that we need to do a little bit of UI work here for our repeating group. So in this repeating group, we want to have a conditional that when drop down A's value for the product title is this repeating group's product Nope, this repeating groups is 
Ah, uh, you know what? I'm on the wrong one. We want to make this to this group that's uh, in, inside of the cell. So when drop down A's value for the product title is the same as this demo product titles product title, meaning that one is selected, then we want to add a background color. And what we want to do is we want to change the background color to just a little offset gray, like that perhaps. Okay, cool. And then I think we had half a conditional going here, so we'll remove that. All right, so let's see what we have here. And we'll go ahead and we'll just update this to remove that separato. All right, so now let's get everything wired up. And there, we've got this nice clean look. And we can see that when we have a particular one selected, we know which one we're dealing with from our UI. So we've got everything set up now to get this star plugin set up. Okay, so we're gonna make changes to a thing, to this parent group's demo products, which we already know that the parent group of this one, it's the iPhone 13, so we'd be submitting to that. Or it could be the iPhone 12. It, this, it's gonna, that's what, is going to get edited here. So what we want to do there is we want to go and look at the total rating for this and then we want to take it as the parent group's total rating and then we want to add to that. So if the rating is already let's say 100 and there are, not a great example, let's say here's, here's some easy math. If the total rating is 50 and there are 10 submissions, well then the total rating, then the average is going to be 5 because 10 divided by 50, or sorry, 50 divided by 10. But so, we haven't reached that point yet, so if the parent group's total rating, it's not 50, let's say it's 45, and we're adding one to it, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at star rating A's value, and we're gonna add that to it. And then we're also gonna say, all right, well, what is the total, the number of ratings that we've received? And we're gonna look at this parent group's uh, number of ratings, and then we're just gonna add one to that. And not multiply, add. Okay, cool. So these are the workflows that you want to be paying attention to here. And you want to have that set up like that. And then next up, uh, so we want to run that workflow. And then we don't want to do any math until now. So we are going to make changes to a thing now. And the thing we're going to change is the result of step one. Which that is, it just means we're still working with iPhone 12 or iPhone 13 or whatever it is that we were working with. And then now for our average rating, because those have been updated, we can do some math on them. So to get an average rating, what we need to do is we need to get the total rating. So the total rating here, and then we need to divide that by the number of ratings that it's been given. And then let's go see this in action. So what we would have expect happen if we were to update this iPhone 11, we were to give it this five star rating. We'll hit submit and we can see the average rating went to five and this was filled in here. And then if we look over in our database and we refresh our data, we can see five number of ratings and its total rating is five. All right, well now let's say, uh, you know what, my iPhone 11, it uh, went underwater too deep and it's not as you know waterproof as the other one. So I, it's still a good phone, but uh, not that great. So here we are. 4.5 after having rated that if we refresh our data we can see that our average rating is 4.5 our total rating is 9 we arrive at that 4.5 through that math 9 divided by 2 right now let's go with our iPhone 13 Pro and let's just give this four five six bunch of clicks right because it's a pretty cool phone so we gave it six clicks has an average rating of 5 because it's got a total rating of 30 but then someone comes in and it's always like, ah, I hate this thing. It's this, you know, super expensive phone and, um, you know, it didn't take a good picture of me or something. So now we've gone on to 4.4. We should have 7 and 31 over here. So when we re refresh that, we get 7, 31. And we see our 4.4, 3, actually. And then we see a cutoff here. So if you are wondering how to add a five-star review system to your app, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.